Hey guys, what is up? And I'm going to do a quick overview of my loadout for this upcoming HVZ season. Okay, now before I go over everything, I would like to mention that I am running a bit light, and that's just because I don't have a ton of space in the car on the way back up for this fall semester. I have a lot of other stuff I'm bringing up, so I'm kind of running late in terms of nerf stuff because other stuff does take priority. But I mean, I want to participate in HVZ, so I'm going to bring some smaller blasters that still I think will be able to hold me over. And then maybe I'll move on to some larger things in the spring. But starting out, I have my Borderlands blasters here. I have the Strife and the Hammer Shot. I have individual videos about each of these particular blasters, so if you haven't seen them, I'm going to link them in the description so you can check out the mods that I've done and firing tests and that type of thing. So going over the Strife first, it has all of the restrictions removed and it's painted obviously with this Borderlands theme and uh, due to FPS restrictions I'm just going to be running uh, normal uh, batteries in it, not trust fires because uh, my game in particular has uh, FPS limits for modified blasters. So in order to stay under that and be able to use it I'm just going to run normal batteries which is fine. Uh, and that's going to work well as my primary because it's, like I said, small because I'm trying to not take up a lot of room. And it works well with all the magazines I have, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, just as a backup blaster, I have this hammer shot as well as another one that I didn't feel like showing because it's just a stock one. But uh, this is going to be my basically my backup blaster in case for some reason that one stops working on a mission, like the batteries die towards the end and I just have to hold out for a little bit or if I need it for whatever reason, I just have my backup pistol, uh, which might be good in the beginning, too, when there's not as many zombies, and you're just trying to get to class quickly. So that's basically what I have there. Uh, in terms of magazines, I have a couple. These, This is not the entire grouping, but uh, I have a total of four 18-round mags. Uh, there are two of them here, and then I have two off-screen because they wouldn't all fit. So a total of four 18 rounds, and I have two of these 12s. So that's a good amount of ammo ready to go in terms of things that could be just fed into the strife and then fired off rapidly. So that, I think, will get me by pretty nicely in terms of missions. And then, obviously, I have a good stockpile of new elite darts, which I plan to use, and then I can always refill as I go. So going, that's pretty much it in terms of nerf blasters, like I said, the strife and the two hammer shots. Uh, for the one hammer shot, I have the hammer shot holster, which I'm going to be actually putting on my backpack. Uh, I still have to put on a different attachment on the back before I leave, or I might just zip tie it on if I forget, but that's what happens, I guess. And then uh, it's also important to note that, like I said, I am using a backpack for extra darts and such. So also going in that backpack, I have a camel black. Well, this isn't a camel black, but it's a just a water bladder. It's two and a half liters, and that's just good for long playthroughs or missions, what have you, where you need to stay hydrated because there's a lot of running and other physical activity involved. So that's pretty much it for my nerf setup. So like I said, um, pretty compact, I mean I'm not really bringing a ton, but maybe for the spring game I'll bring up some larger blasters like long shot project I've been working on, or maybe a rapid strike based blaster. But that's, this is just it for now, that's what I have room to bring, so that's what I'll have to do for now. But I think that's pretty good for the size of the stuff that I'm bringing, so hopefully it works out. Uh, I'm also going to try to take some footage of the actual gameplay to maybe put up on my channel, but if that doesn't turn up out well, then I guess you guys will, probably won't see it. Hopefully I get some good footage though and I'm able to edit it down to something that you guys might enjoy. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have a comment please leave it in the description, I'll do my best to answer. So if you have also if you have any suggestions for potential things to add to my loadout for the spring, I would really appreciate it because I've only played a day like one or two day games of each VZ. I've never done a full week one. So this will be fun and it'll be a learning experience all around. 
So like I said, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.